Hello guys, this is Imran from Imstech and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Now basically I saw this um, on a website called Grayscale Gorillas, so Google them and check them out. But th what happens in that tutorial is he spends about an hour just to do it. Um, and that's fine if you want to know how to do every, each specific thing. But to be honest, this is for more medium and advanced uh, Cinema 4D users. So I'm just going to show you how to do the do it in like five minutes, three minutes maybe, it depends. Anyway, so um, I'm just going to reset everything. I'm just going to delete all this stuff. I'm going to keep the background, okay. So the first step is to add a sphere and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a deformer called a displacer. I'm going to make the displacer the child of the sphere so I've dropped it in. Now I'm going to go into the displacer and I'm going to go into shading over here and I'm going to change the shading to a noise okay and you can see what's happening to the sphere already and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to delete the fong tag so I'm going to press delete on the keyboard now the sphere we want sort of a nice quirky shape so what I'm going to do or a jagged shape rather what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sphere and I'm going to change it to isohedron so I'm going to click on that that gives us triangles um, which is pretty cool now um, I'm gonna go back to the displacer I'm going to go to object and I'm gonna increase the height and watch what happens there you go this is the effect I was going for um, so he's given us this nice jagged sort of a thing and you can obviously experiment with, with that yourself um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another displacer and I'm gonna make that also the child of the sphere so on the second displacer again I'm going to change it to noise and I'm gonna click over here so if, if when you click it it's gonna be shut like this I'm gonna click this over here so this opens now what you can do on the second displacer right is um, increase the global scale so you can sort of mess about with that as you want just to try and get a different effect that's made it a little bit more kind of like what I want to make it look like then I'm gonna change the animation to 0 0.1 you can have it 0.2 if you want, but I'm going to keep it 9.1. I'm going to show you the difference in a minute. So I'm going to press play, okay? Um, and you can see it's kind of moving nice and smoothly, smoothly, a little bit slow, if you like. But you could drop it. You can increase it if you want it to be a little bit faster. You know, so that's a little bit faster. I'm going to keep it to 1 because I like 1. Anyway, now the next step is we're going to add a polygon reduction, okay? So again, it's this is going to be a deformer, and it's over here. It's called the polygon reduction. Reduction. And I'm going to drop the polygon reduction as the the child of the sphere again. And it's going to be the, at the top of the stack. Okay, so if I click on the polygon reduction over here, you can see the strength is at about 90%. And as you increase the strength um, and decrease the strength, you can see how things are popping up and down and on and off and whatever. Yeah. And I'm going to animate this really quickly. I'm going to start on frame zero. Important to start on frame zero. So I'm going to press control and click. Then I'm going to move to about frame 280 now you can increase it by actually just typing in the number yours might have start, started at 91 obviously increase that and then I'm gonna put it to about 99 and then I'm gonna press control again and I'm gonna click okay so basically what we've got is um, it's gonna be sort of um, well let's just watch it then so you can see it's kind of going down and then when it gets to the end towards the end what's gonna happen is you're gonna left you're gonna be left with one polygon one little triangle basically and that's going to be wobbling around as well um so yeah that, that's what made that quite cool now to add the other little white things that you saw what i'm going to basically do is i'm going to press control and i'm going to drag down now what that's done is basically made an identical copy of everything we created earlier okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it inside an atom array so the atom array is over here okay and I'm gonna drop the atom actually I'm gonna drop the sphere into the atom array okay now you can see straight away what's happening you've got these like little bulges and whatnot so I'm gonna click on the atom array and I'm gonna just drop that down to one or less than one I'm gonna drop the sphere radius down as well you can make it you can customize it however you want but I'm gonna keep it about that much actually that's two less um, yeah that's fine now let's just put these 
uh, what's it called these materials on so I'm gonna double click the first one and just show you what I did all I did was click luminosity and I like I just love I don't know why I like this bright white color so I'm gonna drop this luminosity into the atomary so you've got that there then I'm gonna drop this color over here and what I did with this material over here is I increase I put this reflection on so I checked reflection I dropped it down to 18 I changed the color to this bluey color and that's all I did with that that gave me like this plastic shine thing that I like um, so I'm gonna drop that into the sphere and as for the background what I did basically was I got a color and I changed it to gradient and then if you click on the, the gradient you can see I basically got like a really dark blue and then I've got jet black and then I changed it to 2d circular now basically if I just show you what that looks like so basically you see the background looks like that um, and the the sphere and the atom array kind of make it look quite cool and so basically if you watch this this is how it works um, and I hope you first of all like the tutorial I hope you like the fast pace of the tutorial and you know because to be honest I don't like one hour lectures and stuff like that which is fine and I do appreciate what Grayscale Gorilla have done because I learn a lot of stuff from them actually I just discovered them a little while ago but I have been learning things from them so I'll be trying to make more tutorials um, do subscribe and let me know what other topics you want me to cover I know I've, it's been a while but I do a lot of different tutorials do you want me to do more cinema 4d stuff do you want me to do other things just let me know and I'll see how I get on take care peace